Good morning guys, welcome to a brand new day. I see a flood, a massive flood out there. I also see green grass and we're gonna go up there. Cool. I also see manure. Yeah, we see manure too, but I've been cleaning that stuff. Hey Ruby. Just Gabby and I here. The house is a mess. Sam and I did an uh, editing frenzy last night. We edited four videos last night, the two of us. It took a long time, so the house is a mess. The dishes are everywhere. But we are gonna start this day down there with our horses and we're gonna end at the tech store, I think. We've been so busy, we're always so busy, but yesterday we just spent the whole entire day at home with our horses or at the other barn with Storm. And I got to think, like I got to actually spend time thinking about stuff. And when that happens, I actually realized that I learned a lot. We need more grain. Yeah, we need more grain. Not gonna last us. No, we'll go today. Night. Yeah, we'll go today. But well, I'm already using the new purple. <laughs> Thanks Mel for sending us all these scoops. A couple of them are at the house. Useful things for the barn, like our hay nets that are amazing, and those little scoops that are amazing. I know the color that I need to get Stella's saddle pad. What? And dressage saddle. We're gonna need a dressage saddle. Gabby's convinced that Stella is a dressage horse yeah, at heart. Yeah, practicing on framing her. Yeah, and she could be right. Race car driver says that her hawk will never support a dressage um, lifestyle, but I think, I guess she we're just gonna see. framing. Pretty. She just looks like a pretty horse. But this is what I learned yesterday. I learned that some of the issues on our channel in the comments, how people disagree often, is based on, I think there are three kinds of trainers in the world. I do, I, I believe it. I believe that there's a trainer that trains solely from the horse's perspective. Always careful of the horse, mindful of the horse. Um, and... I think we get a lot of comments from people who were trained that way and only care about the horse's perspective. Shoot, and then I think that there are trainers to train from the rider's perspective. And I think there are a lot of trainers like that out there that want to make sure that no, at any cost the rider looks the way they're supposed to look, position, and doing everything right from the rider's perspective. And then lastly, I think, Honestly, there is the kind of coach that teaches from the rider's perspective and from the the horse's perspective and that's kind of like a well-rounded coach and I think if you find a coach like that in your life then you're super lucky. That kind of a coach will stress about the rider and the horse equally and so sometimes it's about the horse and sometimes it's about the rider and it might take longer that way but I think that that's such a beautiful way to cope. Someone who's able to look at the overall whole picture and see both the beings in that situation. And I think that's who, how, who we have in Fiona, you guys. I really do. I feel as though Fiona is right there. I feel as though Fiona is that kind of coach. Yeah, the cat. Okay, so the cat is not trying to oh, get up in the ceiling to get warm. It's warmer in here now. And he does love his bed that we made a special bed for him that's especially warm Here, and insulated. And I could take him down. All right, go ahead. He comes up and down. I don't know how he does it because every time we're here, he cries for us to take him down. <laughs> anyway, that is what I learned yesterday and I'm really happy to have that revelation in my repertoire of thoughts as a rider, as an equestrian because I never could understand so many things before, but now that I have that in my head, it helps me understand where other people are coming from and makes me a better person, hopefully. <laughs> Having said that, 
I want to challenge you guys to post below what kind of coach you would be if you were a coach. Would you be the kind of coach that cares only about the horse? Would you be the kind of coach that focuses solely on the rider? Or would you be a coach that can see the whole entire picture and works with whatever? He came! Oh God, I'm scared. All right. Oh, I'm scared. Two or would you see the whole entire picture and work with whatever um, a person needed your help at that moment, the horse or the rider? Um, I can honestly say, and I'll go first, I can honestly say I think that if I were a coach, I would be the kind of coach that only saw the horse. Yeah. You think so too? Yeah. Well, you need to come here to help. Come here. Come here. What kind of rider, what kind of coach would you be, Gabby? Uh, would you only see the rider? Would you only see the horse? Or would you see both? I have no idea. I think Gabby would be a, a rider. Okay, hold on. Oh. Don't get, don't get scratched. Oh, goodness sake. Okay, let him go. I can't, I, I was reaching. I did. I have it on video. Fine, you're not coming down here then. Yeah, we can't get him. The other thing I learned yesterday was that even though it's really hard for me to be in the dark and the doom and the wet and the gloom and the mud, all the mud, I realized that this is something that we wanted for so long. We wanted a farm. We wanted to be here. We wanted, and I'm so super grateful for all the land and the mud and the horses and all the things that are depressing me right now are all the things that I wanted God to give me and so I'm just grateful. I'm grateful, I just have to be patient and patience is not my, my strong suit, it's not. But you know what, it's only gonna be a couple of months and we're gonna be in the zone, in the zone where it's all good. All right, Miss Stella, are you ready to roll? Yeah? Are we ready to go? Nope. So, Willow likes to be hand fed. What did you give her? Grain. Oh. Yeah, so she gets impatient. She's a girl after my own heart. She does not want to wait to go out into the arena in the morning. She's afraid Stella's going to leave her. So, um, obviously that means we need to do some time away. We're gonna start taking her away or taking Stella away on a regular basis without her so that she can get used to being alone just for little time, little bits of time. Did you guys see in yesterday's video how Stella was pacing, running back and forth, she was so upset, and then Sophie came out and Sophie comforted Stella, it was so beautiful. I'll try and put a picture here if I still have it. Willow, I always forget their names, I always mess up their names, it's like they're my children. So Willow was so upset, pacing back and forth when Stella was gone. Sophie, fine by herself. Sophie came out into the arena and comforted Willow and it was the most beautiful thing I ever saw. I'm gonna Willow. Ruby's like, the cat is down, the cat is down. So Ruby is definitely a farm dog, but not so much a mud dog. Look at how dirty she is. Willow, Willow, good Ah, ah, Willow. You're so nosy. Are you gonna pee in here? That's her grain. Oh, you wanna eat her grain? Drink her water. Hold on, she needs to do this. She needs to just figure out where Stella is all the time. Come on. Get her, Ruby, get her. Hurt her. Hurt her. Hurt the puppy. Get her, Ruby, get her. Sometimes you just gotta know. You just gotta smell your your friend's stuff. Like where they pee and stuff. You just sometimes gotta smell it. I don't know why, but she always wants to go in Stella's stall. And we should swap their stalls for a night. Yeah. Yeah, but Stella really likes her window and Willow can't see out the window anyway. So she doesn't really need a window. Yeah, so she doesn't need a window. So I fed them in here today because it's pure mush out there and mud. I don't want them standing in mud. mud. So this is what Stella did. Oh my goodness. She walked through the water, over here, walked outside. And she's like, where's the food? And then she turned around and walked in. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Sophie was just waking up when we came down to the barn, but we were all ready to go. So she'll come down with Sam. 
it is spring break here, so I'm able to let the girls sleep in if they need to. Next week we'll be back to it, back at it. Um, all of us coming down at the same time, right? Hopefully. So I, I have another confession, you guys. Every single time I'm down at the barn, I can't wait for the moment that I sink into the shavings and start picking poop with my fingers, with my hands. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's the most relaxing part of cleaning stalls for me. I love poop picking with my hands. Like, yeah, I said those words. I never thought I would say those words, but I can never wait to come and sit with my little bucket. It's just the most peaceful thing ever. Try it, you guys. Don't knock it till you tried it. Welcome to the mud pit. super philosophical lately but I have one last thing to tell you and that's it for the rest of this week it is Friday so anyways for any of you guys who are struggling with things and we're all struggling with things things that we want to work on things that we acknowledge that we need to work on you should know one important thing when God takes away one thing he gives you something else in in return so if you're struggling with anxiety um, you may find that you find peace and acceptance with animals. If you're struggling with anger, maybe you find peace somewhere else. God always gives you something specific to you to help guide you in the right direction for the life that you're meant to lead. That my love is real. Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal. When you pull out your your put your hand in your pocket to take out money to pay for something and you get a handful of hay uh, anyway we are at the pet store I'm hiding from the girls Oop, there they are you need Levi food and whatever else we find that looks super interesting <gasps> I love that he's not in like a big lover of ropes though yeah, that's adorable. You try it. Oh, I love it. Instead of that, instead of the small ones, we could try them with this. I know, but those are huge for him. He would just waste them. A big parrot. Like that's for big parrots. He is a big parrot. That is sixty dollars. Oh. That bag of food. I'm sorry. And Levi is super wasteful with his food. It's kind of cool. This, the... this is the kind we guys. buy though. Right well, here. Guys, if you have bunnies. Get this, because they love it. Our bunnies are picky. Well, Levi wants to be up in a tree. So okay. why don't you just bring the tree to How much is that? Twelve dollars. I challenge you to go outside in our yeah, yard well, and pick out a couple and bring them in the house. No. I love that. Bucks. I saw him climbing up a rope today. Eighteen bucks. Eighteen bucks? That's the kind that we always get him. This is the kind we always buy him. So we Let's go look at the fish. I like that too. There's water bowls. He loves it. Yeah, we're looking for a new wa water bowl, aren't we? Levi. Is that what you're gonna get him? Dad's getting this. He'll destroy this in two seconds. He will. But first he will be scared of it, and then he will destroy it in two seconds. Isn't it weird how we get so much pleasure out of him destroying things though, of buying things no, for him to destroy? 
for him to be quiet. Yeah, that's why we get so much pleasure. This is why we can't come to the pet store. Oh my goodness. I do not want a boy cat. Wait, I don't want any cat. He's probably fixed too. Oh, he has to get fixed because he comes from the shelter. He is cute. Are there any other cats? I like yeah. this one. A little gray and white one. And it's a, I, I want a girl. No, I want him. He is really cute. He's a very friendly too. Gabby's determined to get this cat. He's very friendly. I know. I, don't I started know petting him. He rolled over. Gabby, I have a plan on all the farm pets that we're going to have. I know which ones we're getting and when we're getting them. A kitty is not a part of it. Now he's like acting not friendly. But oh, he's so cute. Tax store. Hey, we need that for our barn right there to start. I love that blanket. Look it. Wouldn't that be such a perfect blanket for Stella? I mean, she already has one that's really similar, but this is a rain sheet and I like it. It's on sale. All right, so we're here for vet wrap and now we're over here somehow. I like that. This is the shirt on the mannequin, but I want one like. So Gabby's now into show shirts. Do you like that shirt too? Hi, puppy. So I like, I like the ones with the mesh underneath. Yeah, I like that too, with the mesh underneath here so you don't sweat. They have one like. That's adorable. It's only it's sixty nine dollars, which is a really good deal. I love this and we only can. Pay. That's a lunch bag, I think. And guys, it's you only have to pay. Is it a grooming bag? Sixty nine bucks. Sixty nine ninety nine. Because no tax. I like that. Pony love. Because we love a pony. I like this one too. Okay, those are nice. They're a bit small, these ones. Are those riding gloves? Oh yeah, they got a grip. I'll go see if I can find a bigger size. And it sucks. That brand Doesn't sucks? Stay. Doesn't stay on. Yeah, so that's why Storm lost his bandage the other day because we used this brand. Well, you didn't do it tight enough because I did it and it was still on this morning. All right, so get some. But that's because I re like pushed it down. Yeah, no. So get a couple more. Why don't they make these out of rubber? I actually like this. No, they need plastic. to do it out of metal. Plastic, great. So I wonder if this is good. If this is better than what we have. You're doing all green. Gabby's into green now. Why are you into green now? I don't know. Devaku. So this is the pitchfork that Gabby got for Christmas and everybody fights over it except for me because I can't stand it. Today, if I win the black current, um, the Mew contest? It. Yeah, because yep. it comes with a saddle pad and an ear bonnet. So I'd get these. So Gabby collects, or Gabby enters every Lemieux contest she can find, right? So look at this stuff. $140 and this is what Storm was on. It's good for maintaining a healthy intestinal tract. It's kind of a preventative for ulcers. All right, so we came here for a vet wrap. And the girls made me come downstairs. Doesn't it make you want to come here though? Like when you see all this stuff. There's that one, which I've never seen. That is a teal color and it is gorgeous. I have that one. I want this one. I like black. Stella would look good in black. Look at all she, these saddles. She looks good in any. So I look at all these saddles. Actually, this one's nice. This is similar Wait, to us. Uh, different one. material though. Mom, I want to get this for Willow. Yeah, we need a saddle. No, we don't need a saddle for Willow. You guys, I'm just teasing. We are not ever riding Willow. I still want to get her a saddle. This one's a nice one. I like saddles. It's a nice one. Yeah, that's a nice coral color. Gabby has one similar. And then there's this lemon style pen underneath it. I have that one and it is growing on me. Slowly. No, this one's the dressage one. Oh, but I have that color. Let's you go look at blankets. We are never riding Willow ever. None of us, not my grandkids, not anybody. She's our pet. She's our love. She is going to be trained in tricks and maybe in hand shows if we Who's can. Who's got Willow a blankie? Okay, so I don't want to get Willow a blanket. Yeah. I think Willow would look a, so cute in a blanket. I oh my god, I feel I have chills just even thinking about. It. I want to do it so bad, but 
I don't want her to lose the ability. I don't want her to lose her hair and lose the ability to self-regulate her temperature because horse is a gift for a horse. Maybe when it's raining out, we should put a blanket And I don't want her to learn to escape underneath the fence because she has a blanket on. I see a lot of stories about that. But for the most part, like she, she get will. A fly sheet though. Yeah, she might get a fly sheet. Cause like the flies will bug her a lot. Yeah, like we don't want that. Don't. And I don't know about a rain sheet too. Like you sure don't have her. To get a rain sheet. No, cause her she should be able to but moderate. This is extremely cute. Or her hair should be able to keep the water from her skin. But Maybe yeah. I know. I do want one. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe we should get one. I, it's but... really hard for me to resist buying her a blanket, but I know it's in her best interest. But we are gonna get her a fly sheet. Mm hmm. Are there and... fly sheets for ponies? Are these the ones for ponies? Um, I think... Look how small this is. We will dress her up, though, you guys. We absolutely will be dressing her up as soon as possible. That's cute. I love that. Look at you guys. First sign of spring. Caterpillar. The second sign. Because this. Yeah. First the thaw. We're in the thaw, you guys. We're in the thaw. But I'm so happy that there's a caterpillar. Now I can go looking for snails. I thought you were going to say snake and I was going to say not on your life. Snail. I feel like your color should be blue. He looks so good in light blue. Yeah, they don't do cross country, but this is his cross country. What is on your face? Why does he have, oh, medicine? Did dad give you medicine? Is that what it's all over here? Yeah, sorry about that storm. I want to walk around rodeo. Now I want to get on Stella and do barrel racing. Yeah, and there's a clinic in our area, and the real girl from Walk Ride Rodeo is giving it. Oh. So if he wants to do it. But you can manage him if he acts like a crazy horse. No, he won't ever rear like that. Gabby thinks, the, Gabby thinks the reason that that happened was because she was standing in front of him. He knows I would get him in trouble if he ever ran in front of me. Yeah. yeah. I apologize in advance if our vlogs have been missing a bit lately. The last couple of days, I'm just reading this book. I'm about to finish it, and seriously, it's so good, and I can't do anything. Like, we went all these shopping places today, and I only went in, like, the one store that I had to go in, and I let Sam and the girls do the rest because I had to just keep reading my book. Yeah, I agree. Just get up there and see what happens. Sometimes he's better when you're on him. The less we ride, the harder it is. Why don't we just let him go in the arena? Because he has a saddle on. Storm, you're fine. It's just noises. It's like cars, dude. Storm, you've been in this arena a million times. What the heck is wrong with you? Yeah, and it's cars, dude. Can you see a Pokemon or something? Storm's been fresh before, and there have been times when we haven't ridden him, and he's never acted like this. You guys, all of you guys who are going to suggest we should lunge him, we're not allowed to lunge him. If you want to lunge him, just at a walk. I can. Walking around with purpose. Walking with purpose. Well, I hate it. Dark. I'm going out. Yeah, you know what to do. Get his mind working on something else and remind him that he's confident horse. So I saw on Gabby's Instagram, a lot of people are saying that they like a light colored horse on a dark colored, or light colored saddle on a dark horse and a dark saddle on a light horse. And this saddle is pretty much exactly Storm's same color. Make our love a story that would never end. Never thought I'd feel so alive. Looking in your eyes. I just want to love you till the day.
right, so I don't know. It could be like the medicine that, Sam, that Storm's been taking. I don't know what it is, but he's acting crazy. It's probably that he needs it to get out some energy. Could be the medicine, who knows, but she's not comfortable. So we're gonna wait until our trainer is here. Maybe have a lesson where she just walks with them next week so that she can get back to being comfortable on him. And you guys all know that this confidence issues happen all the time and when your horse that never ever is reared in his life suddenly rears um it can bring your confidence down she'll get back up there she just needs some buddy who can give her confidence like our trainer i feel really bad for gabby because when you ride three times a week for a long 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 time and it's like becomes a part of your life and then suddenly it's gone and she wants to ride it's just sad Mom's about to cry. Yeah, I know. I feel bad for her. If I'm gonna love somebody, I just wanna love.